Hello. In this video, we will cover some basic things on Angular's lint. In Angular's CLI, we have ng-lint as a feature. Whenever we write code in TS, I mean TypeScript, there are a few basic rules. And also Angular has some rules to maintain for the developers. So whenever we are building the our app, it builds properly and it's run faster uh, so there are a few rules of coding and uh, how we can test uh, that our whole code whole app uh, is passed with the lint rules and there are uh, several parts which we can also change in lint rules also so uh, let us uh, go through some examples like to to know uh, how to um, how to search the issues we have in in our app we have to just type ng lint You can see there is a um, few errors over here like uh, the first error is saying that uh, identifier b is not never reassigned use constant instead of let here this is the issue actually and next is uh, missing white space in line number 22 in in typescript we have a general rule for white space so this is missing here there is twice here and here in both places and there's another issue called um, we have used ng destroy in this uh, component but we haven't uh, implemented it we, we haven't added that in implements so these are the errors so for our help angular uh, cli ng lint already had an option to fix this automatically like let's see if we just run ng lint space just just fix then we will see few of things over here will automatically changed you can see this has not automatically changed and after that there is only one issues left and now if we just add that it will it will run with no errors likely You can see uh, it's showing all files pass linting and there are few other issues some small issues we developers do when when coding like this is a format we can declare or we can write this thing and we also can ignore it and we just write this like this so in angular TS lint we have a restriction that our code can't be more than um, length of the code of a particular line can't be more than 140 so let's see what it says It's haven't crossed 140 then then I will just add more lines into it 
let's see if they need detection error or not Yes, you can see here in line number 23 that means here it has exceeded 140 lines so it's an error for uh, TS now uh, let's see if we can just fix it by doing this I don't think it will fix but let's try no it hasn't so our solution will be what we had earlier I think we don't have to fix anything right now so it will run fine next uh, in our webs in our app we we always have a TS lint dot json file in development um, when we build anything in production and uh, have it live uh, we we should be not a not showing console logs warnings and errors in our console so uh, to check if we have any missing console logs or ones or anything like anything such as in in this page tslint.json and there is no console rule and we can just add log and one one over here as an example and now if we run nglint we will see it will throw errors wherever we have console log yeah you can see uh, I have two places where I have console log and it's throwing errors over there and I'm confident that uh, it can't be fixable with the fixing so these are the basic examples we have to use nglint you can see there are two errors right now and I have commented one let's see if one error goes away yes you can see there is just one right now there were two before so these are the basic examples we can elaborate it later uh, but these for now these are the basic examples for implementation of ng lint and what are the usability of it thank you